Okay, continuing on from our discussion, what the next thing we're going to do is name some layers. So I have some layers here, and uh, we're going to name them. Now, to name a layer, all you do is just double click on the word, and we're going to call this moon, M O O N, and then press enter. That's it. And it's named for you. We're going to call this sun, S U N, enter. And we're going to call this alarm clock. So just double click on layer three word, and then call it. You can put alarm if you want, or hyphen, clock, doesn't matter, enter. Remember, to rename it, you don't need the visibility of the layer on. It's really nice. Now, another thing I want to talk about is options. Options are always good. Now, I'm going to move this over a little so you can see the options a little bit better here. Okay. Let me do this here. Okay, now I'll go to layer. There's a little flyout menu. I call them flyout menus, but if you just click the flyout menu, Okay, let me move it over just a little bit more. Click the File menu. And here you also have the option to do New Layer, Delete Layer. So that's actually four ways. There's many ways to do things in Photoshop. All the way down here is a thing called Panel Options. Click on Panel Options, and you'll see this thing come up. Thumbnail Size. Here are your thumbnails. You see these thumbnails? Do you like them none? Would you like them small, medium, or large? Let's try large. Okay, and see what happens. Wow, you can really see them. Some people may prefer that, but if you have 32 layers, you may not want to have them that big. <laughs> okay, so I, I tend to use like maybe medium or maybe small. Let's, let's keep on medium so we can, uh, let's do large so I can show you one more thing here. Now, the thumbnail contents on layer bounds. Layer bounds basically means what's on that layer only. Okay, so we're going to go click OK. The alarm clock, I'm going to turn the visibility of the alarm clock on. That's it. That's the only thing on that layer. That's what you're seeing. Okay? That's the layer bounds. I'm going to click the flyout menu again. Choose panel options. We're going to choose entire document this time. Click OK. This means, yes, you do see the same thing, but it tells you in relation in this thumbnail where it is over here. So, for example, we have the moon. Well, Maybe you didn't see this moon, but you can see over here on the thumbnail where it is, and you need to know. So, you know, I click the visibility, of course, but maybe you have a whole bunch of other things going on, and you're trying to find that moon. Well, you can look in the thumbnail and, and try to and kind of figure out where it is. So I like to leave it on that option, entire document, and I like to use a smaller thumbnail. Here is use default mask on fill layers. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Expand new effects. We'll talk about that later, and add copy. Let's talk about that. So I'm going to click OK. If I click on Gradient and I right click and I say duplicate this layer, please, it's going to say as what? And it's automatically going to name it Gradient Copy. See? And how do we delete it? Another way is to just press the backspace and it's gone. But the problem is it won't give you a dialog box. So these are other ways. Now in the next uh, in the next lesson, we're going to talk about the stack and the order.